Welcome to episode 6 of the EDFD 459 video tutorials. In this tutorial I'll be showing you very quickly how to use Wimber Podcaster which is the new software we're going to be using for assessment number 1. I've decided that this is a more authentic use of audio functionality in Web2 environments than Wimber Voiceboard because podcasting is actually something you can do when you're out there teaching and something you can do in your classroom. And there are already millions of podcasts out there from schools around the globe and it's a great way of connecting your kids with those of um, schools in other parts of the world. So if you go to the homepage for EDFT 459 and click on unit content and then click on the Wimber folder. You'll see in the table of contents on the left hand side that there is um, going to be a title that says group, in this case one, group one, podcast plus feedback. And underneath there'll be two options. One of them will be the EDFT 459 podcast and then feedback for EDFT 459. So this is the environment where you um, conduct assessment number one. Now once you've been allocated into a group, which will happen at the end of week two of the preparatory learning module, you'll only be able to see your group. You won't have access to everybody else at this stage. So in order to record your podcast, you need to click onto the EDFD 459 podcast link. Remember that you still need to produce a transcript, so not only do you, do you submit audio, you also submit the transcript as well, so you need to make sure that you have that ready. And you literally click on new, and then you give your podcast a name. Now the, the main name for your podcast has already been set simply by the way that Wimber has been created, but what you need to do is name the different episodes, and you're going to have four episodes over the course of the semester. So this one is going to be group one for LM1, which stands for Learning Module 1, and it's going to be for EDFD 459. So let's assume that you've copied your text and now you're going to paste it in. I'm just going to put in some test text. And then you record your audio. Good evening everybody from EDFT 459. This is Adam recording a test recording for EDFT 459 podcasting. Once you've finished recording, press stop, go down to the bottom and press post. And what this has done is it actually has submitted that audio and the text into the system and it's now looking for a podcasting bit of software to use. Now I would recommend that the one that we all, that you should use is iTunes. Most of us have got iTunes on our computers already. But if you Google podcasters or podcasting um, on the net, you'll be able to find a whole raft of free sites that allow you to subscribe to podcasts. So what you do is uh, basically this, this would have created a URL and that's now sitting out there in the ether somewhere. And what you do is you actually subscribe to that, that URL. And every time the URL is updated, and it will be updated another three times for each group, for once for each additional learning module, it updates into your podcaster. So in this case, I'm going to use iTunes. Um, and it means that every time I go in there and there's a, there's a new episode, it will update. In order to get that URL, what you do is you click on RSS feed, the icon with the orange button. And this will give you a URL. So you, you basically copy the URL that you find in the address bar at the top. Then you open up your podcast. So this is going to be iTunes. And I'm already in podcasting here, which you can see on the left-hand side. And you go up to advanced, subscribe to podcast, put in that URL that we copied, and press OK. And you'll see what happens here. It's actually beginning to subscribe to that particular podcast. So if I now play it, Good evening everybody from EDFT 459. This is Adam recording a test recording for EDFT 459 podcasting. And there we have it. We've now got a podcast which is live on the web so everybody can hear it. You can send that URL for the RSS feed to your friends and family so they can listen to it. And one thing that we will be doing um, with all the groups is we'll be sharing our URLs so that we can have that conversation about what each group is talking about throughout the learning modules. One of the bits of feedback I got from EDFD 460 in semester one is that whilst it was good working in the group, 
you never really had a chance to listen to what other people were saying. So this is how we're going to manage this and it'll be part of the assessment criteria as we move through the semester to actually review the submissions of other groups um, and find out what they're talking about because I can assure you one group will not be the same as another group.